guys welcome to another vlog how are you guys doing hmm hmm i'm saying hmm because i've been through a lot <laughs> no jokes guy i don't know i'm even laughing but yeah i mean so much has happened sha um before this vlog goes up i'm going to do a life update just a quick life update on what has been going on in my life and why it's been a minute since i last you know uploaded but well i uploaded a video of when i cut my head in january but that was just you know that's an old vlog <laughs> so much has happened after that that i couldn't even upload that vlog until when i was able to now so yeah i'm just starting the vlog just yeah <laughs> let's see what i get up to let's see how this vlog goes right now i'm telling you if i'm not doing a vlog it does calm down it doesn't make sense <laughs> So right now, um, I'm on my way to um, ShopRite to get some things. I also want to get some things in the road, get some things in, like on my way, sell planting and stuff. Just a few things, share because I'm on a tight budget. No time for splurging, but I'll show you guys what I get up to, and I'll see you later. It's a Sunday afternoon. The weather is pretty cold today. Ah, given that this past week has been such, you know, a very, very rainy, rainy, rainy period. You know what? Let me get it. Let me get um, my, what do you call that thing? My camera stand. Let me let my arms rest. <laughs> I'm coming. Mm, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. I'm much comfortable now yeah so by the way you guys should try all this recipe i don't show you guys but this is my smoothie it's so so good it's like, it's like one of my favorite smoothie recipes i mean i've tried other types you know and they're all nice i'm still looking forward to trying more you know smoothie recipes for you know different mixtures of fruits but this one is like my all-time favorite i just love it you know mm. all right now i'm just trying to just take out like maybe just a few minutes maybe like 10 minutes me time if you have watched my life updates you have an idea of what i've been going through this period losing my dad it's not even up to two months since i've lost him and losing him just barely a month after i had my baby his first grandchild it's been crazy i don't want to talk too much about it <laughs> you know i will try and you know say you know a little about it you know in the life update and also going to do a video on the lessons i've learned from losing my dad so actually, i don't want to say too much but you know it's been crazy guys if anybody has lost their parents you can you know i'm sure you can relate to this situation and now just imagine adding that to just when you just when you just had your baby and you know literally just your postpartum phase yeah enough said about that <laughs> but i thank god for strength basically i thank god for strength mm. 
Hold on, let me do this thing don't clean. So today's our cheat day and yeah, um she was like, Okay, can take your smoothie, take do things that you know you like to do, eat what you like to eat, but don't go overboard and still make it nutritious. So this is nutritious, it's fruits, you know, it's like you saw it is um yogurts, farm fresh yogurts, strawberry flavor, and um, then with um bananas, apples and grapes, you know. And sometimes I like to add real strawberries too if I have it. Mm. But strawberries are so expensive. I mean, everything is so expensive these days. So I'm like, you know what, you know. I just couldn't, you know. Just have to calm down. Not, you know, but when I can afford it, I buy strawberries and use them as well. Yeah, I want to talk to you guys about that. So yeah, I mean, today's our cheat day rest today. Even if I'm just like three days in. But I think the three patches that I've been following the regimen, the meal plans, the workout routines, you know. Now apparently, I didn't even know. That I had that statistics. Am, am I pronouncing it well? That statistics recti. I mean, I'll put it on the screen so in case you know what that means. I did. I had heard about it, but I didn't even think I would have it. But apparently, I had it, and I wouldn't have known if I didn't sign up for the program. So it was when I signed up that you know she sent me a video and sent instructions on how to you know self test to be sure if you have it or not, and also I sent a, a picture of my tummy. So she was like, "You got it, girl." When I told her, when I got my feedback, and when she saw the picture, she was like. I think you have it you should do the so the workout will tailor towards correcting that and also being fit losing weight and just you know help and you know being healthy so i like how it's not just about just losing weight it's the focus is just all around you know good health fitness you know having a good healthy lifestyle the diets are very realistic and such that you're not just you're not starving yourself it's not, it's not just vegetable it's just balance you know tailor towards you enjoying your meals and also knowing that you are healthy you get quickly finish this and go back home to my baby she's with my husband now downstairs with her dad my mom's around but she's leaving tomorrow ah <sighs> go easy <laughs> because of everything that happened i just never really got to really enjoy omugo and omugo is what you call you know Oh my god, is when your mother comes to stay with you for at least, you know, a month when you just put to bed. But I've never really enjoyed that. When she comes in, she has to take, go back again. So she came for like a week. And now she's going back very early tomorrow morning. And oh, this motherhood life. Then even juggling my career with this because, you know, I'm a lawyer. I run, you know, my practice, my law practice in Lagos, in Nigeria here. And, you know, working motherhood running the home, being a wife, and even finding time for myself. Sometimes my baby I know babies our babies can be so funny. Sometimes throughout the whole day, you can't even really predict them. Especially at this stage, my baby is like three months now. You can't really predict how they will be. Some days they sleep more. And some days they don't even sleep at all. Just always like they want you, you, you. Sometimes you have when they sleep you can find time to even do something for yourself. You know. Sometimes I'm not trying to approach my sister she's crying. I'm trying to beat she's crying. And you know, I dad is working, I'm working increase but i'm just happy i'm working for myself but even at that i tend to devote time to go to the office to go out when i have I, I last last week now i had to i was in court on friday i was in court with that heavy downpour i passed through that lakey flood what time started my car then i have a driver with me Sha. it wasn't <sighs> i don't want i don't want to make this part of the vlog so long Sha, but guys mothers are strong women are strong and she had told me I'll be going through what I'm going through. I'm after dealing with grief, the pain of losing my dad. I'll still be standing my two feet and I'll still be moving, I'll still be working, I'll still be, you know, be productive. I don't even I wouldn't have believed it, you know. But I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to God. Mm. Hi darling. Uh, yeah, Hi, yeah, baby yeah. boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, princess. <laughs> Yeah, come on, very sweet. Really? Ah. Hi. It's breast time. Mm. <laughs> ah. Oh man! Oh, she loves this one. She loves when you do this. Uh, like she's in a spaceship or something. Oh. <laughs> ah. See your pretty face. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Show your power. Hey, show your strength. <laughs> I love you. Mm. Oh, I'm so grateful for this blessing. Hi guys, how you doing? It's been over a week since you last saw me um, in this vlog. Guys, it's not been funny at all. So I just thank God on these legs that I'm actually working for myself. So I have that luxury. I'm coming. Okay, yeah. I have that luxury to be at home on a Monday afternoon you know i had so many plans i was the office today to get some work done that i think i needed to do that i had to just push you know to maybe later in the week anyway today is my tradiversary guys just putting that out there happy tradiversary <laughs> that means um the anniversary of my traditional wedding for those of you who don't know what that means yeah today is my tradiversary tomorrow is our white wedding anniversary you know so excited thank you to god but that being said it's been a stressful day right now i'm breastfeeding i know again and if you have noticed i'm my workout okay i'm supposed, I was supposed to do my workout this morning i know again i was just crying yeah i know again my baby's name that's our first name i don't name and she was just crying and crying i had to carry her you know then things came up you know my help went for earlier break she just got back this afternoon so now she's assisting me with things i need to i need to do it's just been crazy and right now like I'm, when i tell him take a break you know to do stuff you know she starts crying so i have at some point i had to back her you know it's just it's it's, it's, it's like i want to like just keep calling joyful stress but it is very stressful guys anyway so here we are i'm breastfeeding now and i still want to get my workout done um the coach i signed up with or something she mentioned today in the group chats for those of us in our class she was saying that um you know she understands you know especially for those of us that a lot of us are busy and for those of us that even more, no same mothers she understands that sometimes it's very hard to you know put a specific time you know to your um workout sessions and we have a lot of moms on the group so some are even moms of two some are more moms of you know three i mean my coach is even a mom of four like she calls us a veteran mom so you know when you are a mom i've come to realize that there are days that you plan your day a particular way and so it's not even it might just go the opposite direction or you know she was just saying you have to learn to adapt with it and just flow with it and of whom she said she was saying you know what you don't have to get your workouts done in the morning you can't even get that you can don't you can get it done anytime she says she says she herself sometimes she's forced to do her workouts by 1 p.m 11 p.m you know and right now it's like about it's about four and i'm smoke out gay hoping that i'll figure out time to do my workouts before today i would have just given up you know because i like i love to do my workout before breakfast you know first in the morning after my morning devotion you know so that i can get out of the way and just feel energized and stressed for the day but motherhood sometimes will not give you what you want i have to just flow with it so that at least you're able to get the workout done and your body is better for it so because if you keep it for a perfect moment you may have just little or no time to get the workout done you know obviously that like perfect moment that's when i have the strength to wake up earlier than before which I which I believe is one of the best ways to get things done as a mom, but it's not always so easy because the baby has stressed you out the nights before. And here you are in the morning trying to start your day, you end up waking up late, you know, and not being able to get some things done early enough. So anyway, here I am, she's breastfeeding, I'm, I, I've already had breakfast, I'm, I'm about to make um, lunch and it's almost dinner time safe, so I just shall winging it, we're juggling it. I think the key is not just, the key is to not focus on perfection, just do the best you can with this, with this situation on ground so i really really want to make sure that i do my get my workouts and even though we end up in an evening workout since morning you know you know find out finally have my bath and settle down you know my phone you knows going on it's not like the end of the day but just keep moving so yeah i think my help is back so at least she can assist me when i go and do my workouts to watch for the baby you know or maybe hopefully maybe we'll be sleeping my day so i can you know be with her but i need to get my workout done i need to have my bath i need to do stuff for myself i have work to do so i need to get some work done so i'll be doing some little bit of work i'll, I'll be doing a bit of work at home sha so yeah just was checking in to, <laughs> to show you guys the struggles of motherhood especially for those of us that are new moms and this whole thing even if we were aware people talk about it before you know you're pregnant that ah being a new mom being a mom it's a lot of work you know, matter you can't you can't be prepared. You just better prepare yourself that it's gonna be challenging but it's gonna be beautiful. So yeah. I'm just God came into just rant and just show you guys a sample of what I've been talking about. The stress guys, but 
I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. <laughs>